Welcome back to the Gear Blocks Weekly Top 5. Today we're starting off with number 5, which is a Packard car by PO4B. And we can get in the back seat if we want, like this. And then our friend can drive us, but we don't have multiplayer. So we can't do that. I lied. So we can get into the driver's seat, and we can hit W. And we can move along here on our track. Let's check it out from the outside there. There you go. It's a cute little thing. It's got some cute little tires. And... You turn, you can see the little suspension going back and forth with the body. It has this weird steering HJ thing, which I don't understand what it's for. It says uh, steering, centering, but watch what happens when I click it. If I hit it, it just like permanently turns it into, a, you know, a left turn or a right turn. If I put it back in with J, it, um, it goes the opposite way. So it's kind of like a, like a, I don't know what you want to call it, like a permanent steering thing. And now I'm back into my A and D. So there you go. Uh, it's not too fast, so it's not going to be super disruptible. But we do have damage on. I guess I can try seeing if we can jump over there. Maybe jump the side there. So uh, let's do it. Oh, this might break us right here. Uh oh. <laughs> It broke us right there. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, it broke on the little bump there. Anyways, this is number five, and you can download this using the link in the description. Let's get to number four. All right, coming at number four and about to roll away, if I can get inside, is the Kazmaz Master Dakar by Scroogey. And uh, it's pretty cool looking. I really like how it looks. We're going to go ahead and try not to break it before we get on the track here. But uh, there we go. Let's check it out in the inside real quick. This is what it looks like on the inside. And uh, let's get back out so we can see what we're doing. Ooh, we're sliding. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can get some speed on this thing. Damage is on. This is not exactly a race car, but it's fun to try to see what we can do with these things. So here we go. Okay, is R the right key here? I don't know, maybe F. Oh, that seems wrong. Okay. It's moving, but it's not a super speedy race car, so that's fine. It's supposed to be an off-road car, so let's um, let's take it off-road by going over this giant bump. Ready? Three, two. <laughs> the wheels, unfortunately, break on the bumps. I don't know if there's any way to negate that, but it would be nice if uh, I could get some jumps going on. So anyways, this is the amazing Kamaz Master Dakar, and you can download it below, and uh, it has a really nice body shape, and uh, yeah, it looks great. But uh, if you want to go off-roading, don't turn on damage. I just do that for the fun. All right, let's get to number three. All right, sneaking in. Hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Just stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. So here we go. So sneaking in with yet another build. I didn't notice it was the same guy. This is Scroogey, and this is a Toro, Torio D. So we're going to give it a try. And you can see when he hit the brakes, the little wind wing comes up there. So that's pretty cool. This is not like the truck. This is fast. I can tell right now we're going to be rolling at a good speed. Okay, so this is the default gear. We are not uh, changing gears yet. We're just taking it easy, taking it nice. And we're going to go ahead and hit R. Okay, now the speed is kicking in. Hit it again. There we go. All right, this is a race car. This is not playing around. There we go. Let's see if we can hit R again. I don't know how many gears this has. Yep, there's another gear. Look at this thing. Is that cool? Oh boy. I don't know if I make this turn. I spun out. It's not going to end well. Actually, it ended pretty well. Oh, look at that. Lights. They come down and turn on. That is cool. That is really neat. Okay. I'm just going to probably jump this really quick because I want to respawn it again. And... There we go. So, very cool car. Let's let's go respond it again real quick. All right, so here is the car again. I just want to show you the inside. 
And I also wanted to go ahead and... Whoa, it's loud in here. Let me get out. I wanted to go ahead and do it again because I want to do a screenshot of this one. So let's uh, see if we can get a nice screenshot on the turn. I like that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and race it now. Oh, we're going to kick into gear now. And we're going to finish up number three with some speed. Okay, so when I get... I don't know actually how fast I'm going. Let's get inside here. 170. When I hit that gear again, it is going to speed up really, really fast. And I don't know if we're going to be able to make the turn. So I'm going to... I'm late letting off the gas. Ooh. Wait, did I make it? I'm at 190. That was cool. That was really cool. Oh, wow, I only did some minor damage. I think we could take it again. Let's try it again. I gotta be careful of these bumps. The wheels break. Or worse, you get stuck. I'm not gonna respawn it, but I am gonna pick it up and uh, drop it. Okay, hold on. All right, here we go. Let's try it one more time. I think I'm in a high gear. Let's do F, F, there we go. So I did pretty good on that turn. I'm gonna try again over there. Okay, let's uh, pick up the speed. Pick up the speed. Yeah, this thing is fast. Okay, and one more time. That is it, right? Yeah, I'm gone. Can I do it one more gear? No, that's it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna lay off the gas. My finger's off the gas. I'm gonna just try to make the turn. Nope. We are dead. We're not gonna walk away from this one. Yeah. Woo! Kaboom. And there you go. This is number three, the Torio D. And uh, you can download it in the description. Great car, awesome car. Looks great, great body, great steering, great speed. Yeah, download this bad boy. Coming in at number two is the Trainer Railroad by Jekko Damik. And this is a scene, so it's not a vehicle, you download an actual scene and then you load it on the scene menu. So it's gonna take a while to load because it is a very complex build. So we'll see how this works and uh, hopefully we can get it loaded. I don't know if the thing is gonna crash, but so far it's taking a really long time. All right, so it loaded, here it is. And uh, let's back up a little bit and you can see it's like, what is it, two cars, three tar, well, yeah, three cars total if you count the, the engine. So the way this works is you just walk up and you hit O and it opens the doors. You get inside. You try to get inside. You jump around until you get inside. There we go. We're inside and we can hit P and that's going to open all the doors so we can kind of walk around through here. Just like this all the way back to the back. Lights, of course, turn the lights, but it's not dark. Can we? I never really do that. Can I control the thing from here? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to make it dark. There must be a way to do that. I just don't know how. Okay, so let's walk back through here. And you'll notice that we cannot get into the... Oh, that almost opened. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> it won't let me in. Can I jump around and get in through here? No, I cannot get in. It will not let you in to the front. So I guess you're not supposed to drive it. You're just supposed to be a passenger. I just have trouble getting in here. Okay, let's try a run and jump. No, no, no. Okay, we got on the other side. Let's try and whoa. Let's try the other side. Ready and run. No, <laughs> almost threw out the side. Okay, so the way we get this to move is we hit O again. That closes it, and then we hit U. And there we go. The train is now moving, but we're gonna just jump off because we wanna see it move. And there it goes. Uh, to stop it, you if you'd be on it, you would hit J, but I'm not on it, so there you go. So it goes around. So I wonder, I actually didn't try this, but it did stop you. Okay, so I am curious. Okay, I'm just being bad again, but I want to know if it destroys itself if 
the uh, protections off. Okay, I'm gonna hit J again, and I'm gonna hit U. Go ahead. Will you destroy yourself, or can you handle having your breaking physics on? So far, it looks like it's doing fine. I thought maybe it would just break on the track or something, but no, it's working. Oh, there it goes. There's a dream. Yep, it derailed. And now, now the uh, engine is taken off. Yeah, we lost it. So as soon as you turn the damage on, things start to hit each other and collide and all that stuff. Glide and hit each other. Kind of the same thing. And then it will start to break. But now it's getting speed. I wonder if it's going to make this turn. Yeah, now we're just doing that stuff where you like to see things break. Sorry, I don't mean to do this, but it's kind of interesting. So if it makes a turn, we're good to go to number one. I mean, even if it doesn't make a turn, we have to go to number one. But still, now it's good. Look at that. It's moving. So this is number two, The Train and Railroad by Jekadamik. And of course, you can download it using the link below and give it a try. This is a scene. It takes a while to load, so be patient and give it a try. Let's get to number one. All right, coming at number one is the word I can never say. Not wield, but excavator. Excavator. Yeah, I, I have trouble with that word. But this is by Dent. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? So this is based off a of 1980s Lieber 902. And it includes this thingamabob, which you can somehow attach to there, which I don't know how to do. And it comes with this thing, which you can attach to maybe there. Maybe that I don't I don't know where you attach it. But let's give it a try. Doors are. Wait, what's back there? Oh, the engine? Okay. I open it up here. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, what are our controls here? Okay. S, of course, is backwards. W is going to be forward. And there's my turning. Okay. Very cool. It seems to move really nice. I don't hear any clinking and clanging. So that's nice. E and Q. Is it... I always never know. Is it E to... Go fast. Yeah, E goes faster. So, the left, left one is go faster. And there we go. All right. Let's slow down here. Let's see. Y and U is a blade. Y. There's a blade. Is that to pick me up? I don't even know. Our outrigger is O and P. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's that's cool. We're off the ground now. I think that's what I was supposed to do. Okay, T is a boom. Okay. And let's go G again. Really smooth operation. Like, I don't hear clinging and clanging. J and L is a bucket. Okay. And how about Z and X? Z and X. What is what is X? Grapple. That might be for those extra parts. Not positive. F and H are rotate. Okay. Nice. Let's see. I and K are the stick. There we go. Really, really smooth operation. N is light. And Z and X are, yes, yeah, spread again. So I think that must be for if you have a different part on there or something. But for right now, we can just go ahead and do up and down here and rotate we can't actually dig because that's not a thing but it's very cool a very cool build looks great really smooth operation and you can give it a try by downloading it below along with all these other builds and give them a try so i am endo this was the weekly top five for gear blocks and hope you enjoyed it if you liked the video click like if you didn't like the video Click didn't like. Let me know what you think about the videos. Of course, you're always welcome to leave comments and let me know what you think about these. And don't forget to leave comments on the workshop for these builders because they'd like to hear from you. So that is it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.